Hello everyone and welcome to the sports update for this week. My name is Brian Dunn and the good news is golf is back. Governor Baker announced late last week that golf courses are allowed to reopen following strict social distancing guidelines. For more on what that means and what you need to prepare for, we caught up with Norwood Country Club golf pro, John Resnick. Hi, John Resnick here at Norwood Country Club. I'm the golf pro, updating you guys on some changes that have uh, come into place since the coronavirus um, epidemic. Um, we are open right now. Um, it's walking only unless you have a letter um, and some sort of disability or injury that you have to present to us if you want to take a cart. It's a single rider use cart that um, is disinfected before and after every use, along with the pull carts also being disinfected before and after every use. Um, we're practicing social distancing, so everybody um, out on the course is staying at least six feet away from each other. Um, we also are requiring people when they are in the area of the pro shop in the parking lot, they have to wear um, face coverings or protective masks. Um, but we are open and very busy and doing online tea times. So you can go and pay and um, book online. So it makes it very simple for the check-in process. We also have a staging area where we have a starter who will go over some basic rules that you have to follow. And it's these are mandatory rules. Um, to keep safe. Um, so you get all your instructions when you check in, then you are socially distanced by our staff and told when you can move forward to get to our first tee. Um, we're sending groups off of no more than four as the state has required, um, but are accepting tee times online at Golf Now and on our Sterling Golf website, which you can go to at sterlinggolf.com. We also have um, an interesting device where we have no touch pins. So we can't touch pins, we can't touch trap rakes. There are unfortunately are no water coolers out there. The benches are flipped upside down because we can't touch them. But um, we're being very safe here and following all the uh, guidelines set by the state. I for one cannot be more excited that golf is back so everyone have a fun and safe time out on the course. And in MIA news, certain committees met earlier this week to discuss the outlook of what divisions will look like for the new winter 2021-2022 statewide tournament format. It was recommended to the TMC that both boys and girls basketball will get five divisions, boys hockey will get four divisions, and girls hockey will have two. Again, these updates are ongoing and the MIA meets on a very regular basis, so NCM will be following the story as it progresses. And that's going to do it for me this week. A reminder, as part of our NCM Sports Classic Series, NCM is airing the 2015 baseball tournament game versus Mansfield. We can watch that on the community channel Saturday at 7 p.m. or on demand. 